Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to use our digital backdrop uh, holiday bokeh set. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got uh, one of the backgrounds open here and I've also got an image open that I want to replace the background with. So let's start by, let's double click on this and let's make it a layer. And now what I'd like to do is come back over here to get our uh, digital backdrop. I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to click on the backdrop and I'm going to drag it up to my photo tab and I'm just going to drop it right in here. And what I want to do, um, let's go ahead and sort of get that in place. But we want that backdrop to be behind the baby. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to change the layer orders. So this down here. Now what we need to do is we need to remove this background. So let's go ahead and we'll come over here and grab our quick selection tool. And basically what you want to do is just select everything that you want to keep. So we'll go ahead in here and grab this little hat, little hands. And we don't have to be super um, perfect about this because we have a way to uh, fix it later on. I'm going to hold down my Alt key here and you'll notice that the plus turns to a minus and I'm just going to click to remove some of this white here because we want that to be, we don't want that to be part of the selection. Okay, this looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to add a layer mask to that and you can come right down here and just click on layer mask. So basically you can see that it's done a rough um, cutting out of your background. You can see some areas here that need some attention. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on, on the mask part. Uh, let's go back to this. You can see the mask is selected here because there's four corners sort of around it. That's selected. So with that selected, let's right click and choose select and mask. Older versions of Photoshop and uh, Photoshop Elements, um, you'll use the Refine Edge tool, but it's basically um, the same thing. So now that we're in here, um, let's go ahead and it defaults to this Refine Edge brush tool right here. So I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to come around the edges, and I'm, I'm just going to sort of trace those edges. and. I'll just do short um, strokes and watch as it sort of cleans up those edges very nicely. You can see it in there. So I'm going to continue around the edge here. Come back up around the red part of the hat. And it really does a remarkable job here. Um, and let's go ahead and finish it off. <clears throat> come in and around the little ball in his hat. Um, right in here. <clears throat> this needs help in there. Right, because we actually wanted that painted back in. I'll show you how to do that in one moment. Um, let's just finish up this edge here. Okay, that looks very nice. Um, if we come up and grab the brush tool, that will allow us to brush back in any areas that we that we want. That's a perfect example of how we would use that. Um, so now that we've gone through with the Refine Edge Brush Tool, now you can look at some of the options over here. Um, I'd like to always put on this Smart Radius. Um, by turning on this setting, it tells um, Photoshop sort of what is a soft edge and what is a hard edge. And then you can sort of play with the radius a little bit, it sort of controls how much your fine edge tool um, should refine. So that's going to be subjective to every um, image, but I think that looks pretty good right there. Then you can come down in here. I like to, you'll see like some white areas in here. You can clean that up with the contrast. So if we just add some contrast until you sort of like that. We don't want to go too wild, like I'll, I'll turn the contrast all the way up and you can see how it just gets terrible. That's what we want to avoid. But we want to, you know, play with enough contrast so that 
we don't sort of have that white haloing, which you can see a little bit in there. So let's just come up just a little. And this, maybe about 25%, is pretty good right there. And I mean, in here you see some areas where maybe there's a little bit of a white edge there. What I might do with that is I might shift my edge. I might bring the edge in a little bit. So let's come down maybe, I don't know, maybe 10%. And that helps that area for sure. And then we'll go ahead um, and we'll click OK. And so what that will do is it'll make a separate layer up here. This is with the refined mask. So now we've got that layer. And if we click down here, we have your background layer. If I go grab my move tool, you can now sort of move your background layer to fit um, anywhere you'd like it. And you can move it around somewhat if you'd like. That looks pretty good right there. Um, and that's basically it. Have fun using these. Mm -hmm.